Today, we're going to have a cloudy day. We're going to top out in Eugene Springfield, around 54 degrees. A big warm up is on the way later in the week. Warmest temperature yesterday recorded Safford, Arizona, 92 degrees. It's about 120 miles northeast of Tucson. And in Stambaugh, Michigan, northern Michigan, coldest temp across the U.S., 6. Ooh, <laughs> it's chilly. Uh, Eugene yesterday, beautiful. 64 was our high. North wind 5 to 10 for the seas. Water temp 51. Sun up 625. We're going to see that first light soon enough. And 808 drops down. Here's the seven day forecast. Again, 30% chance of evening showers. Just showed you that. 60 tomorrow, 61 on Sunday. So I've been receiving thousands of emails asking, Greg, what happened? How come you stopped the dumb jokes? So thousands. Thousands. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. Um, would you like to hear a joke? Let's hear it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Stop watch. Stop watch who? Stop what you're doing and let's get back to the show. Oh, there we go. We waited all week for that one. Thank you. <laughs> now, the, now, now Greg's inbox can uh, clear up. Stop the emails. Here's our forecast, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, 68 degrees today. A few more clouds than we had yesterday. Little factoid about 1927. That's the year Henry Ford introduced us to the Model A, leaving behind the Model T. Model A was more innovative and exciting. And it came in four colors, but it didn't have Bluetooth. Go figure. So what do we do this weekend? What's going to be so beautiful? Here's a list I made for you. In Woodburn, there's the Tulip Festival. And then in Elmira, you can check out the Cherry Blossom Festival, our beloved Saturday market at 8th and Olive. And of course, Hayden going to be on tap tomorrow. Autzen Stadium, Ducks play practice at 2 o'clock. Hey, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, my friend Michael. He's my tax guy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> in Jacksonville. An, an important person to know. Very important to know. Uh, Michael's actually streaming the show right now from our app, and that's something we always encourage folks to do if you're out of the area, NBC16.com. Hey, Michael, I think you're going to like this. Joe, could you pull up the shot, please? Here's Jacksonville Beach, Michael. He's probably laughing right now because this is just up the road mm -hmm. from his mm -hmm. office. Beautiful shot right there. I spent... Uh, gosh, a total of nine years living in Jacksonville and many, many times. Go I Jaguars. Yeah, go Jaguars. <laughs> Used to go to that stadium several times and watch the Jaguars lose. <laughs> they did win <laughs> a good, couple of They're games, good now. <laughs> but they're good now. Uh, 58 today. More clouds than sun, Eugene. The coast, partly sunny. 58. And Roseburg, you'll see a high today at 59. I bet you'd like to get out and have some fun, huh? <laughs> what a sweetie. So we're going to have a great looking day today. It's a little chilly. Was it chilly coming in for you? Yeah, it's chilly. Uh, upper 30s, low 40s as you get going on this Friday morning. Whew, thank God it's Friday, right? Susie's happy about that. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, we've got the clear skies. We've got nothing to worry about right now. However, there's a system coming in tonight. Could bring us uh, a little showers uh, activity. I'll tell you about that coming up. But here's a pretty pick for you. This comes from Denise. If you're heading out to the Saturday market, here's our future cast. This is the, the best part of this TV broadcast. If there was only a future cast, though, for lottery numbers. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fantastic? And never have to work again. A little bit of shower activity to the south. Cottage Grove, Roseburg, North Bend could see a couple of sprinkles this morning. 54 degrees for the daytime high for Eugene today. Check this out. Justine and I went to the uh, uh, duck store yesterday. You would like this, Hayden. We were at Austin Stadium yesterday at the duck store. How ironic that two ducks are floating in the ponds right there outside the duck store. So a uh, couple of cuties there. Gosh, I, I, I didn't end up buying anything at the duck store yesterday. If I were to buy everything I wanted at the duck store, I would have spent like $500. It's nice stuff though, gosh. Isn't it, Hayden? Really nice stuff. Uh, well, a southwest wind today for the seas, 10 to 15 knots. Water temp at 50, sun up at 630, drops down to 804. You're going to love this. Check out the numbers here. Seven day forecast for the coast. We're at, so 58 or high, drop down to 39 tonight. Pretty normal, give or take, 6140. Uh, back in 1934, today, Day, April 18th, it was 84 degrees. Here's a couple of factoids about 1934. That's the year that Alcatraz opened its doors. Have you ever been to Alcatraz, Mike? Well, I have to correct this. Have you ever spent time in Al Alcatraz, Mike? <laughs> no, he has not. Uh, also, the year that Maxwell Klinger, Corporo Klinger from MASH, Jimmy Farr, great actor, was born in 1934. Uh, a 50% chance of rain today. And when we coin have toss. A, coin toss, yes. So when we have a 50% chance of rain, that's when we bring out the eight ball. Ah. So um, here, why don't you give it a spin and see what we say. Will it rain? Yes or no? We're All at 50%. Right. Yes, definitely. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, well, that's how we do it here at KMTR. Well, eight ball is spoken. Eight ball is spoken. Yeah. If we do get any rain, it's going to be barely anything, only about uh, 0.10.
Okay, tenth of an inch, that's about it. But for the Cascades, let's take a look. Cloudy skies today. One alert for you here. Uh, south seas till 11 o'clock tonight. We have a small craft advisory. On deck for us today, beautiful weather. Mostly sunny skies. Get out and ride your bike. Ooh, well, I'm not going to go too far with that. I actually have a list of things to do. <laughs> Share that with you in a minute. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time future casting you through because there's nothing. We're going to have a beautiful day. Sandy and Pass, partly sunny. Look at the melt off right here. That's always a good thing. Not looking at any uh, snow for the uh, hills there in my pick of the day. Take a look at this. Thank you very much there, Miss Peggy, sending this in. Last night's sunset as Peggy sat on her front porch. Boy, is that pretty. Um, Peggy, if you ever like some company on the front porch, <laughs> let me know. Here's the list of things to do today. Wash your car and do that early because yesterday I went to wash my car 15 cars deep. I turned around and went home. Uh, ride your bike, go fishing, go hiking, grill hot dogs. Or bratwurst. You like hot dogs or bratwurst there, Hayden? He likes the hot dogs. Don't forget your ketchup and your mustard. Relish is optional. If you have anything that you uh, would like me to add to this list, uh, send me an email. gtanner at kmtr.com. Okay, for the seats today, uh, I mentioned on Wednesday, wait till Thursday to wash your car. Because right. That's when we're going to be the driest. So I, yesterday, I spent seven bucks, bring my car through the car wash. Yes. Beautiful. We didn't get any rain, but it only took 10 minutes for a bird to decide to use my windshield as a toilet. <laughs> yeah. We have some patchy fog, and you're going to find some condensation on your windshield as you step out. So you're going to have to turn the heat on, uh, put a jacket on, a hoodie, a hat, and then this afternoon we're going to have a, a beautiful day. As you can see on our future cast, looking at 2 o'clock this afternoon, uh, not going to have any issues today with any type of precipitation. We are dry, dry, and more dry. High pressure going to be here for the next uh, several days. 64 the afternoon highs. Temps right now ranging from 37 to 41 degrees. We're clear skied. Lots of stars out. Here's the day planner as you get going on this early Friday. 7 o'clock, chilly. 37. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Can you, do, do I smell? <laughs> do I smell? We don't have smell of vision here. Can you smell me? I smell something. I, so I put on some Ben Gay. There we go. I woke up with a sore neck. Now I have the uh, elderly man smell, which isn't offensive in any way. It's actually quite nice. There we go. Can you smell it? Yes, I it's smell it. There. Is it overwhelming? No, it's not overwhelming. I apologize. It's all good. Nothing worse than a stinky coworker. That's true. <laughs> you ever been to Beer Garden? It is, yeah, I went there this week, actually. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Yeah, they'll be packed this weekend. Yes. Uh, today, we celebrate National Volunteer Recognition Day. So, okay. uh, do you ever volunteer? Every once in a while, yeah. Do you? I almost went to the University of Tennessee. Their mascot, the volunteers. Is that right? No, I didn't actually go there, but that, they are the volunteers. Leave yeah. it to Hayden to know something like that, right? Yes. Uh, so if you know somebody who volunteers, thank them. And if you have something passionate that you, you, know, you really enjoy, something you love, uh, see about volunteering. Here Give back go. to the community. All right, forecast today, sunny skies, mostly. Uh, I don't think we're going to be quite as blue as yesterday. Cloud rollover later this afternoon because we have a weak front coming in tonight. And that could bring a little bit of shower activity this evening, late night. But that's about it. So let's take it hour by hour throughout the day. It's also National High Five Day. Oh. High five. Boom. Boom. <laughs> so high five one of your coworkers today <laughs> or a family or a friend. Let's take a peek at the Cascades. What's going on here? Partly sunny skies, 46 the high. 